Kena Bridge of Spirits is amazing. Not only as a game, but as a movie too. The cutscenes are Disney quality stuff. In the game you play as Kena, a spirit guide, as the title says, and you have to save the village from the corruption. I'm not telling you more because I don't want to spoil the story for you. But I'll tell you just this. The more you progress, the more epic it becomes. Not only in level designs and enemies, but Kena also grows in abilities. You can use spirit energy in different ways, both in combat and in puzzle solving, the combat is satisfying and gives you many options to tackle an enemy, and the environmental puzzles are complex and great. Also it's nice that on your journey there are collectibles to be found, hidden chests or cursed chests that require you to complete a challenge before unlocking, there is spirit mail to collect, you collect it to free the houses from corruption, it's bonus, but it's fun. So aside of the main story, there is still a lot of stuff to do. In your journey, you're also accompanied by Rot. Small cute creatures that help you in combat, in puzzle solving and everywhere you go. They are super cute and can be found in the map. They are hidden and the more you collect, the more powerful you become. As for the map, you have free room. But you can see that this is not a triple A game, since once you try to be let's say creative, you stumble upon invisible barriers. Also areas feel like a mix between sandbox and open world. There are many passages that are only sandbox areas, but you also get big areas that feel like an open world filled with stuff to do. Also because the map is so big, the developers put fast travel into the game and I'm really thankful for that. The story is remarkable and the more you progress in it, the better it gets, so overall I find the game amazing. Sure, it suffers from some double A game stuff, like the controls don't feeling as fine tuned as in triple A titles, especially when jumping, or the invisible barriers, or that you can't do much with some of the collectibles. But still, the game is amazing. You should definitely try it. No matter the age or affinity, if you're a kid or a casual gamer, then the cute visuals, great story and relaxing atmosphere will make you play the game till the end. And if you're hardcore, the challenges and higher difficulty settings will make you love the gameplay mechanics.